Oh, she can test that. And he had bad food all his life. 
<laughs> pissed on him and he hit him. He was lucky to be at this hotel for that long. Clark Gable the dog gave me my start. <laughs> Clark Gable was everything to this hotel. Don't you think we know that? I don't even want to be at this hotel anymore. Clark Gable the dog. We thought you said that. We thought you said that. What is that? Is that another dog? <laughs> what are you, foolish? I'm sorry. What's the cat's name? <laughs> Can I name the cat? <laughs> you pick some famous star from the 40s and you name the cat. Jimmy Cagney the cat! Jimmy Cagney the cat! Jimmy the cat. <laughs> Let me pet him. Let me pet Jimmy Cagney the cat. <laughs> I also could have won with Andrew G. Katniss. <laughs> <laughs> I've been funny. That's true. I'm going to have to stay here at the hotel, so good luck, Sean. As a kismet, you know? Is that all right with you? Edward G. Wait, no, we went with Jimmy. Tell us, Jimmy. Well, please sit on the chair first. Please sit, sit. Uh, yes, very well. The whoops guy gets in the way. <laughs> pillows! Pillows! Mm. Delicate. <laughs> My queen may sit next to you. If you must. <laughs> so, gossip in the uh, kingdom says you and the king are, um... Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get your earphone. <laughs> <laughs> gossip in the kingdom says that, uh... Me and King Frederick murder Gruber <laughs> Yes! I'm so sorry for directly accusing you. I'm not accusing you, actually. No, you're not, because you're not speaking English there at the end. <laughs> if you spoke English at the end, I might be worried. Oh, well. Stop speaking peasant and speak English. <laughs> I can't then run away from all of my roots, my feather duke. <laughs> How did your afternoon tea? Oh, oh I, mean, I see you're conversing with the peasants again. One moment. Please bring it over to the other side. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Between us. 
And the cat wants to kiss too. The, the cat can go fuck itself. The cat knows you think that. That's why. It's... I don't care. I, I want our old life back before our grandparents started dying and leading us exotic animals. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah. I didn't know that hairless cats talked. <laughs> it's a thing, don't tell anybody. <laughs> What's your fucking problem? <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that I, I had a wonderful life mm -hmm. uh, with, with, with my husband before we started inheriting this entire fucked up menagerie. How'd you inherit that? Did your grandparents die, you asshole? <laughs> yes. People age, they die. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Um, I have a, I, I'm here to read the will. Well, are you, are you prepared? And there's no family here? Do you just want the pertinent parts to you? <laughs> All right, well, let's do this. We're both here. We've got... Very well. We've got cages, we're ready to go. Your grandfather has left you three elephants. Three elephants? Yes, and a leopard. <laughs> Maybe one of them can eat the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the leopard will dine on you. Could you leave us for a minute? I, I think I would prefer that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Spotless leopard here. You're <laughs> exactly like the Lion King. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Here you have a little birdie problem. <laughs> I work for free. Kisses! <laughs> <laughs> this is Humphrey Bocat. <laughs> Isn't he nice? He's better than Trevor Bow Wow. Based off of Trevor Powers. Oh, so <laughs> I think you've gone off the deep end. Just because I named cats and dogs after stars of the 1940s, you kind of started this whole trend, I'm going to be honest. Clark Gable the dog. <laughs> Darling, we went in some way to keep you around, keep your money safe with us. So you wouldn't go around any of those other swanky hotels. <laughs> so this is all a scheme to keep me in a living situation. Oh, you know. <laughs> <guys. laughs> we put your own Murphy bed over there for you. You know what? This is the shittiest cat hotel I've ever been in. <laughs> I'm gonna say it, and I've been in a lot of cat hotels. I've been in a cat hotel. I had a stroke just now. <laughs> a legitimate stroke. <laughs> They've been coming more frequently. I think it's the cat hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Don't, I'm sorry to worry about you. You should worry about me. I told you I have a serious medical condition. <laughs> brought on by the myriad of cats. <laughs> Howard Cat. It's based off of Howard Hughes the cat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's not really. There's no cat pun involved in that. I do want to report that this hotel was much better when it was a dog hotel. I'm afraid I'm not going to be coming back. Oh, Mr. Roosevelt! Oh, oh my. <laughs> was that Mr. President Roosevelt? <laughs> was he walking? Yes. <laughs> I'm worried about the murder. The murder that that my wife did. <laughs> um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. Rumor around the court is that some king had a little claw on that one. Too. Yeah, well, that that is that sounds it sounds like Macbeth. No, that's not it. My wife, you know, she gets carried away with her hoop skirts and her pra la la. She's she's been senile for ages now. Oh really? Have you thought about uh, divorcing your wife <laughs> and making your fool, I don't know, like a fool queen? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Timmy. Hello. <laughs> 
Are you trying to seduce me, fool? <laughs> well, indirectly. Put on a hoop skirt. <laughs> Put on a hoop skirt. <laughs> Uh, is this a Esmeralda has plenty in the closet. Put on a damn hoop skirt. <laughs> is this a king command or a sexual command? <laughs> <laughs> like, am I being ordered to or ordered to? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I like him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm hoop skirt. Oh, you just fixed them off of me. I'm sorry, I thought I guffed the wind. <laughs> <laughs> There's one on your side. Let me get us off your head. Oh. <laughs> Tighten my, uh... Wait, wait, he's got it around your neck. <laughs> your majesty, the... the GM Compass. I see... Her Majesty is looking a bit haggard. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment, but I'm no queen yet. <laughs> uh, so, I, can you loosen the powers? Would you like to leave? <laughs> Get out of the tree, Charlie! Don't fuck yourself! <laughs> Charlie, you've been in the tree for 17 days! I know, I'm protesting! <laughs> Charlie, you've got to change your underwear, Charlie! I brought a pair! <laughs> no, One pair? No, I didn't, but I'm okay! <laughs> Charlie, don't you miss TV? I the did. internet? Video games? I got an iPhone, I'm good. <laughs> the fire department won't bring new underwear this time, Charlie, the way they did last time. I'll go without it. That's disgusting, Charlie. No, it's natural. Get over yourself, Dad. Nobody's standing under the tree. Okay, I'm not going to pee. <laughs> Charlie, you can go without it. It's a smell. It's not like a funk. <laughs> Charlie, I and all of my sister wives are very <laughs>
Wait is having a show every weekend in May at DCC in Adams Morgan. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> For real. For real days. It's actually happening. It is the Wake Road Show. Um, and there's, uh, it's 7.30 and 10. I'm, t I'm just telling this to Caroline, but you guys can listen. 7.30 and 10 every Friday and Saturday in, uh, in May. I heard about it. What did you hear? There's house teams, indie what? teams. What? Independent projects. No. Resurrected fist teams. What? Like hash -hash. That's crazy. <laughs> so go to WashingtonImprovTheater.com. I think this guy will be up soon. Soon? Yeah. If you, we might know, but if you want to listen in, it might be up soon. Might yeah. Be up really soon. Yeah, maybe tonight, possibly tomorrow, definitely this week. Um, <laughs> Other announcements? Yeah. Oh, do you want to say it? Um, okay. <laughs> okay. One is, um, there's a lot that you can learn from improv that can be applied to the workplace. And actually, John, I think, heads the, um, the corporate training program. He does. Way so. harder. Way super Yes, way even harder. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so if you want to take all of this improv goodness to your workplace, you can email John at john at washingtonimprovtheater.com. And John is J-O-H-N, not the other spelling, which is also perfectly acceptable. <laughs> um, 